Hello guys, this is Serge and we are back with a new video today. After checking the views in my channel, it seems like the last video about the PS5 external storage options was a success, and we are back today with more extensive data, better and friendly comparisons, and more devices to be tested. In today's video, this is arguably the best external storage for PlayStation 5 yet. But before starting with the complicated stuff, let's answer some questions. That way, all the benchmarks are going to be properly understood. There is any difference between the frontal USB Type-C and the rear USB Type-A? No, the frontal Type-C port is rated at 10 gigabits per second, the same as the rear ports. I was told that the USB Type-C is faster and was made for ultra-fast devices, and I am sure it is running faster in my console. Yes and no. USB 3.2 double lane is only possible through USB Type-C, but the PS5 was not designed to provide double lanes, so it's the same as a normal USB Type-A port, just different interface. But I just checked Sony's website and it says USB 3.2 double lane is supported. You are just wrong. Yes, uh, you are right, but that doesn't mean it's capable. USB 3.2 double lane is indeed supported, but it's never going to work at full speed. Actually, USB 3.2 double lane is a very complicated and expensive technology and just a bunch of super premium motherboards have the ability to fully support this technology. I know 10 gigabits per second is 1000 megabytes per second. From where are you getting those low values? Be careful with the advertised speeds. 10 gigabits per second is not the same as 10 gigabytes per second. One byte has 8 bits, so you will get the real speeds dividing by 8, so for 10 gigabits per second, the transfer speed is 1025 megabytes per second. Alright, let's start with the test, but first a disclaimer. All devices tested today have been purchased with my own money. My opinion is not biased to favor any company, so let's get started. This is going to be a real-life test. We are going to transfer a PS5 game, in this case Returnal, which is a 55 GB game. On the left side you will see the drive that is being tested. In the middle, the real progress bar that has been fast-forwarded, of course, and on the right side there is all the drive's specs, the calculated price per GB and the measured transfer speeds. In the middle you will see the progress bar. This bar is going to be completed two times, because we are going to do two tests in one. First, we are going to send the data from the internal drive to the external drive, and then we are going to copy the data back again from the external drive to the internal one. So in the middle, we will see three values. On the left, the first lap, that is going to be from the internal storage to the external storage. On the right, from the external storage to the internal storage pack, and in the middle we are going to have the time that was needed to complete the two tasks. Check it out, we got our first winner, is the Wenser Digital Black P50. On second place the Samsung Evo 970 Plus, and on the third place the Wenser Digital Black D10. This is a mechanical drive, and it is fighting head to head with these two guys that are really expensive. Keep an eye on this guy, it's going to surprise you a lot today. 
it's even getting ahead of the Samsung T5, which is really, really good. And on the last two places, on the fifth place, the Wenser Digital Black P10, and in the sixth place, the Toshiba Cambio. It, it is expected for these kind of drives to be on the last places. They are just 140 megabytes per second. They are really, really cheap. And this is something that I was expecting to see. Great, this is our second test and this is going to be something more, more powerful. We are going to transfer Call of Duty, which is a game of 210 gigabytes. It is going to take a lot of time to be transferred from the internal drive to the external drive and go back from the external to the internal drive. So we are going to do the same kind of test we did with Returnal but this time it's going to be over 200 gigabytes and this is going to be really good to saturate all the drives and, and see how they behave in this kind of stress. And check this out guys, uh, the Wenser Digital Plug P50, the Evo 970, the Samsung T5 and the Wenser Digital Black D10 are just uh, almost the same speed. It's, it is weird and amazing how, how this Mechanical drive is just working almost the same speed as the Wenser Digital Black P50. We are getting some really, really interesting behavior from the hard drives and let's see how this continues. Hopefully it's going to be really, really fun. Look at that, they just finished and they almost finished at the same time. First the Samsung T5, uh, but the margin is too, too small that it's almost uh, nothing. And look at that, the Wenser Digital Black D10 second, but just for milliseconds. So it is really weird and it's really, really strange what is happening with the PS5 USB ports. Uh, definitely something is going on in there and, and it is just, just capping. The reading speed, and look at that from the external storage going back to the internal uh, PlayStation 5 uh, SSD, for example, in the Samsung T5 is just 91 megabytes per second and for the Wenser Digital Black D10 it's just 90 and for the Wenser Digital Black P50 93 why it is supposed that the PlayStation 5 SSD is the fastest one so uh, I don't know what is going on uh, I don't know if the problem is the USB or probably is a uh, just as something more concerning is something about the internal SSD that is not able to write at fast speeds. Probably can read at super fast speeds, but most likely is um, some kind of cap in the internal PlayStation 5 SSD and it's not writing at the right speeds. Um, look at that, just uh, look at the data. It, it is, everything is in there. We already tested six uh, different drives and here are the results. They are, they are shocking, yeah, they are shocking. But I know guys, I told you I was going to give you the best uh, hard drive, the best external hard drive for the PS5. And for the moment, uh, the best recommendations are, first, if you don't care about the noise and the small footprint, get the Wenser Digital Black D10. This drive offers almost the same speeds as his insanely expensive brother, the Wenser Digital P50, with a fraction of the price. But if you care about the noise, get a Samsung T5. This is still the best good all-rounder around. So just don't waste money in really expensive hard drives. They are not going to work as expected in the PS5 for now. And I guess the only thing we will need is to wait until the internal NVMe port is available. And then we will clarify what is uh, what the hell is going on with the PS5 USB ports or the internal hard drive, the internal SSD. Stay tuned, we are going to be ready to test the internal port when it's available. So we are going to have all these kind of tests and we are going to give you the best recommendations to get one internal SSD like it should be from the beginning. Thank you so much. This was Search from Method. 
Have a good day.